Hi. Today we're going to talk about multiplying a two-digit number times a two-digit number. Your children are going to learn a lot of different strategies, several different strategies that they can use to do this. We're going to learn them one at a time, learn each way, and then your child can find the way that, that feels most comfortable to them and they can go and, and take off with it. So the first method we're going to learn is called the box method. It's real simple. I'm going to show you and give you some examples. Here we go. The first problem we have is 42 times 76. And what we're going to do in the box method is make a box. It's going to be a rectangle that we're going to divide into four quadrants. Now around the box, we're going to put the values of the numbers that we have. For example, this 4, is, that doesn't really have a value of 4, it has a value of 40. So we're going to put that above the first box. This 2 has a value of 2. We'll put that above the second box. So we have 40, 2. Now on this side, we'll put the value here. This value of the 7 is 70. The value of the 6 is 6. So we have 76 and 42. Now, here's the rule with the box method. What you have to do is you have to follow the number either straight down or straight across. So in this box and this box, we're going to multiply in both of these boxes times the number 40. We're going to come straight down with that 40. So in this box, times 40, and in this box, times 40. In these two boxes, we're going to multiply by the 2, times 2, and times 2. So these two numbers will come straight down in both boxes. Now, the numbers on the sides are going to go straight across to the right. These two boxes on the top, we're going to multiply by 70, times 70, times 70. These two boxes, times 6, times 6, times 6. So here we go. This is how the box method is going to work. We're going to start up here in this box. We would multiply 40 times 70. 40 times 70. The 70 comes across, the 40 comes down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, what's 4 times 7? We're going to leave the zeros off for just a moment. 4 times 7, it is 28. So we'll write 28, and now we're going to put those zeros back on. How many zeros do we have to add to the 28? Well, we took off one here and one there, so we've got to add two zeros back on. So 40 times 70 would be 2,800. Now let's go to this box down here. We're going to bring the 40 all the way down and the 6 across, 40 times 6. Well, we're going to do 4 times 6, and that's 24. And how many zeros must we add on? 1 from the 40. 40 times 6 is 240. Coming over to this box, we're coming down with the 2 and over with the 70, so it's 2 times 70. 2 times 7 is 14, and we're going to add 1 0 from the 70. So 2 times 70 is 140. The last box, we're going to come down with the 2 and over with the 6. 2 times 6 is 12. How many zeros do we add? None. There's no zero here, no zero here. That's just going to be 12. So now we have these four numbers that we've gotten as we've multiplied the tens and the ones from these original numbers. Now we're going to take these numbers and we're going to add them and we're going to get our product for 42 times 76. So we'll add 2,800, 240, 140, and 12. Always be sure, line up your ones place, and every other place will fall in line after that. So we have zeros plus two is going to be two. Remember with column addition, we want to look for doubles, and we want to look for things that will give us ten. That makes our addition a little bit easier. Here I've got doubles. I have two fours. Four and four is eight. You got it. Plus one, nine. Over in this column, I have eight and two. I know that's a ten. Ten plus one, 11, we're going to leave 1 and carry 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, and I get an answer of 3,192, and that would be my answer for 42 times 76. 3,192. Let's try another one. <clears throat> Let's 
Let's try 93 times 57. 93 times 57. Let's put our box. And remember what goes around the box, we're going to put up here, we're going to break up the 93, we're going to make it the value of the 9, 90, and the value of the 3, 3. Over here, the value is 57. So it's 93 times 57. Okay, let's work in the first box. Remember the 90 is going to come down, the 3 is going to come down, the 50 goes across, the 7 goes across. In this box, 90 times 50, we're going to do 9 times 5, which is 45. How many zeros? 2. 1 from 90, 1 from 50. So 90 times 50 is 4,500. Now we're going to do 90 times 7. So we're going to do 9 times 7, which is 63. And how many zeros will we add? 1 from the 90. 90 times 7 is 630. Over here, we're going to do 3 times 50. Remember, the 50 comes all the way over. 3 times 5, 15. How many zeros do we add? 1. 3 times 50 is 150. And then down here, 3 times 7, 21. And do we add any zeros on that one? No. No zeros with 3 or with 7. So now I have my four numbers, and I'm going to, again, write them down and add them. Now, I've told the children... If, if they want to add some of these in their head and make fewer numbers, they can certainly do that. But now they've got to have the mathematic cap mathematical capability to do that. If not, list all four numbers. But I'm going to take a shortcut on this one. I'm going to, add the, I'm going to put these numbers in the list, 4,500, 630. But in this one, I'm going to take the 150, and in my head I'm going to add 20 more. That would be 170, and then add the one, 171. So I'm going to take a shortcut on that one. And your children can too if they're able to. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the zeros in the 1, that's a 1. 3 and 7, there's a 10. I'm going to leave a 0 and carry a 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 6, 12. Plus 1, 13. Carry my 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. And 93 times 57 would be 5,301. Let me give you one for you to try on your own. You can pause the video and you can work it out. Let's try 82 times 45. Put your box and give it a shot. Hit the pause. I'll wait. Hey, you're back. Did you have any success? Let's see. We're going to put 80 and 2 to make 82. We're going to put 40 and 5 for 45. And now we're going to multiply. Remember, the 80 comes down both boxes, the 2 comes down in both boxes, the 40 goes across, and the 5 goes across. Ready? 8 times 4. We're going to do 80 times 40. 8 times 4 is 32. How many zeros? 2. One from the 80, one from the 40. 3,200 is what you get there. Coming straight down, the 80 comes down here. 8 times 5, 40. And how many zeros do we have to add on? 1 from the 80. 80 times 5, 400. Let's go to this box over here. 2 times 40. 2 times 4, 8. How many zeros? 1. We get 80. And then finally, 2 times 5, which is 10. Now we can go ahead and add these numbers. Again, we can take a shortcut if we want to. So let's take one. I'm going to write 3,200. Now watch what we can do with these numbers. 80 plus 10 is 90, and then 400 plus 90 is 490. So if you can take a shortcut and do it correctly, go ahead. If not, write the numbers down. 0, 9 and 0 is 9, 2 and 4 is 6, and 3, and 82 times 45 would be 3,690. Okay? This is just one of several ways your child will learn how to multiply a two-digit times a two-digit number. Okay? Uh, practice.
Practice, practice, practice. That makes you better. The better you know your multiplication facts, the easier this is going to be. Okay? So work hard, pay attention. I'll see you next time.